This is the piece de resistance of mm. a crack claw lollipop. Yes. Welcome to another episode of Food Finders. Today we are with Jen and Me again. TPY. And we're at Topayo. What's great about Topayo? My dad's shop. <laughs> I also wanted to do Topayo because I'll be shifting our office to Topayo from Topayo. <laughs> Topayo is a huge estate. There's only so many we can cover in one episode. We're gonna break this up into multiple parts. This is just gonna be like part one. If you've got any recommendations that yeah. we didn't cover today, do yeah. let us know. Do let us know. And it's drizzling, so can and we get out of here? It's just, I don't know, drizzling. So we are here at Lorong 8. Lorong 8 Hawker Centre. The interesting thing about this Hawker Centre, right, is as compared to other Hawker Centres, here seem to open a bit later. I heard from like one of the tenants, the stores here actually open late, so it opened until 1 a.m. or something. Uh, but you know, let's check out. Whoa, what a, what a bird. <laughs> East Seafood White Bihun. This one uh, is one of the recommended stalls. So they also won this hawker competition that was on Channel U. Top 10 in 2016. 2016. Is it still good after 6 years? Hey, give me that A. A, you can have they have been saying that the coffee here is very, very, very good and always have a very long queue. So I'm quite curious. They make la la sien. Oh my god. Okay, let's try it. Hello, can you give me a 6 hao? Oh. So we had uh, Alawuddin's biryani. They only have like one item. You can okay, choose what type of biryani. Hello, can we get the chicken biryani set? Another super famous spot that you have to try at Lorong 8, one key. Ah, uh, one key. We got a lot a of lot different of choices, I would say. Mm. Bihun, kui chak, Bihun kui chak. And a very unique carrot, carrot cake, cake with lala and kimchi. First off, I think we're gonna do the seafood bihun first. And it's quite thick, yeah. Got the wok hey. Yeah, you can taste the wok hey. This Despite the wok heinous, right? Yeah. It tastes really one dimensional. You need some chili, is it? Yeah, I need, I need some yeah, yeah, spice, okay. but then they only give uh, soy sauce with chili body, which mm. is like nothing special, also. I like it, it's very hearty. Honestly, yeah. the pork luck could be done better. It's just stale. Yeah, stale. A bit loud, home. Uh. <laughs> Mary saw that feels one for you. You can tell that to your BF. Yeah, my BF. Watch us! Quite fresh this one. The fish was a bit overcooked, but the prawn went nice. Okay, how would you rate this? Like a 3.5. I feel like I had better white bee hoon. It's a bit boring. I'm so hovering at a 3.5. I feel if they, like the chili is such an easy thing Important, to fix. Important, yeah. Yeah, if they had like a nice sambal, uh, this actually has a lot of potential. If the pork lard was like yeah, the, the fatty time, it's like a pork lard. I'm like, drinking yeah, coffee. Should we try the coffee first? I like it. It's a very thick coffee. La. Like when he was making it, you can see he only adds like a dash of water. It's nice. Eh? The fact that he grinds like his own yeah. beans, that really elevates the, the whole coffee. It's, it's really very strong. I would say it's a five. I five. like it. Like I just like it. Five stars as well Like if, if someone asks me to la coffee, I'll come down. The best coffee I've had in a coffee shop. Hey, next. So let's try this Get a totally cake. random carrot cake. No idea. Flavor is really, really nice. But it does taste a bit different. More garlic, less Thai pork. Yeah, like us. Uh, I saw him cook it quite long. It's a bit overcooked. Okay. It like oh. strung into its Overs, own shell. Uh. So when I saw him cooking, the lala shell already opened. Then he put on the grill. Then he covered it. Then he cooked it for the entirety of that. He was yeah. frying the carrot cake. And then he added it and fried it again. Yes. But the carrot cake is not bad. Try a bit of the kimchi. I think it's quite unique. Actually, right, it tastes more like a pajon than a carrot cake. Because the egg ratio very high. And then when you eat the kimchi, then your brain like, oh, it's Korean. I still like the overall taste. Right? Is it because you like garlic? Garlic is one of those ingredients where you can never add too much. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as too much. More is better than less. Does your wife like to kiss you? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Moving okay, on. Okay, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, wait, 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 wait. Three. Three point five. I feel like it yeah, doesn't represent the uh, carrot cakeness. Let's move on. I okay. want the okay, Let's try the highlight. I love it. It's like mochi mochi kuei chak. Very silky. The soup base is also really flavorful. Six years. Cheers. Mm, oh my god, it's bakyu mi. Why is it flowery? Uh? Rojak flower. <laughs> it really tastes like rojak yeah, yeah, flower. Yeah, there's this flowery. Yeah. Um, Ginger flower. Yeah, yeah, perfume. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a perfumey yeah. flavor. This is my flower. favorite part of kuei chak. 
I love the juniors that are, it elevates the whole experience. I like Big Seal though, I mean Big Seal is like my favorite. Big Seal is nice, I okay, love red. the top pot. Fine, red. Fine. Fine, agree. The kuih tang good, the chili is unique. I, I think it's one of the best kuih tang I've had also. Riyani. Fish, riyani. Oh, you're trying to fish just. Mm, the fish is surprisingly very moist. Is it? Looks can be deceiving. Yes, classic biryani, done right long. They know that they are good. They pull out a good dish. They are mm. consistent. This is what you get. Spices is just right. There's nothing like wow about it. It's just very reliable. Years yeah. and years of just perfecting the system of making biryani. Uh, this is the result. The flavour also, not too salty, not too spicy. I would uh, say four, because it's a very four. consistent product. The other mark goes to nothing unique. I knew. La. Four stars for me also. It's above average. I think overall quite good ah. Okay, let's move on then. Coffee transition. So far away. <laughs> we are here at one of the most well-known steakhouses, yeah. Western restaurant in Singapore. Jack's Place! Jack's Place! It's definitely a very classic. Classic place. Yeah. They've changed their menu though. Okay, I used to remember right, their menu yeah. is huge. What I'm familiar with is this casing one. Uh, in this casing but bigger. Yeah, yeah. So it was my parents' dating spot. Mm. Then when we popped out right, <laughs> They started bringing us out for like all these special things. So at Jack's Place also. Mm. And it is the place yeah. where I first had my first steak. Then I learned about the doneness of steak. My, my first time trying escargot is definitely in Jack's Place. Me too. Later you go out to the garden, they go and grab my steak and eat out. Call the police! I want to try the oysters. How, six, how do you pronounce that? Min, 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 Come to Jack's Place, may I take your order? I think we gotta have the Jack steak special la, steak. Yeah. Medium rare. Okay, we'll get the fish and chips for the set lunch. Uh, the rib eye, the rib eye steak as well. Thank you. Thank you. Moments later. Oh! Oh my god, look the mignonette. It looks mignonette. really mignonette. juicy and fat. The mignonette, right, is so not French. Uh. It's so Asian. What, what makes it Asian? I think it's the bell peppers. The chili, <laughs> it's yeah, the it's the chili. The oysters are really good. I, th I think they're really fresh. I prefer Tobasco. Hi, wow! This is a special. Uh, yeah. Can I, just give on from the I want more sour cream. More sour cream. More sure. onion. So we have our very signature cow plate. Okay, this is like the moment of truth, I guess. Moment of truth. No matter what. Ooh. Stickers. It has the signature like milk in your mouth that tenderloin has. Do you eat your potato with the skin? Yeah. The flavour of the potato and the texture is all in the skin. And also, the nutrition is also in the skin. It's more fibre. Yes. This jacket potato is the, like, the signature. Body is really good. I feel like consistency has really been there like 10 years ago. So we have the value set. Lah. Fish and chips. And then it comes with soup, soup bread, and... bread and... So later on, there's uh, dessert as well and uh, coffee or tea. Dory. Eh, Dory? It's like a better Dory. You know how like McDonald's? If you put like a filet old fish right, in a burger, I prefer this style, like this bread crumb style. But if it's like by so, itself, okay. beer better. Uh, beer better. Soup of the day. It's a chicken okay, soup. Okay, it looks like chicken soup. Uh. Good old country style chicken soup. Rip eye! Rip eye wins tenderloin. Looks pretty pink. Mm, more flavour than that. Fat flavour, man. And fat is healthy. I always love their mushroom. Man. Definitely prefer this over the tenderloin. I love potato though. I love potato also. Can you complete the set with the dessert? Last is their scoop of gelato. Ooh, and chocolate chips inside. It's one of the first places I had that they really serve course by course also. Proper dining etiquette. Oh, you give what you give? Like a consistent for it. Two point five, like above average for me. It's a, a nostalgic experience and flavor. Yep. Let's head on to the next spot in Topayo. Cow runs across. Okay. Hi Kelly. Hi Kelly, you look like your logo. Can you ask me, what's the relationship with Melbourne? So, my four brothers and his body. Oh, so it's your brother. In fact, I have four brothers. Yeah. Besides that, Uncle Leong Seafood is also... Uncle Leong is related to you also, man. Uncle Leong is my second brother. So, each sibling like run one outlet kind of thing. But we are having our own management. Talk about business, right? Yeah. Each, each have our own idea. Yeah. For me, I'm more particular in presentation, the taste and service. Okay, 
Hey, everything's here. So crab meat avocado tacos and this ice plant salad. Ice plant. It's actually not on the menu. But if you look into mm. the menu, there's this thing called omakase. So like the appetizer, so the ice plant, these are off menu. The omakase is based on how much a person wants to pay. And mm. then you can even mention like, oh, mm. I want to eat light and more mm. expensive ingredients. They will yep. cater the whole omakase according to what you want. It's very inter interesting for this hustle. It takes a certain skill mm. for like chefs inside to keep mm. churning out new things. Mm. I like that it's an avocado. I'm still processing. There's so many things going on. Honestly, I can't really taste what the caviar was. The crab is very lumpy. It's like the good quality uh, crab. I think crab. they, they mm. actually get it from like their actual crab. Do you think crab. they dig their own? Yeah. Really? I think eh. See the prawn only few one eh. Uh -huh. Oh, this is already lah. Good lah. There's a very diverse range of ingredients in the pao pai. There's like prawn, cuttlefish, abalone, asparagus, mushroom. There's some kind of razor clam also. There's different like rice textures. So there's normal you know rice that's boiled inside as well as fried rice with egg. I'm surprised it's still crispy. It's even been though sitting it's like, for a while. Yeah, it's been sitting for a while. I really love the broth. It's very light and flavorful. Even the shimeji mushroom, they only cut like the tops of it. So the most beautiful part of the mushroom is added inside. The sole of a pao pai is the soup la. And I think I like it. I'll eat it when I don't feel like super hungry but I still want something nice. I want to try this, the ice okay. plant. This is very interesting to me. They use like truffle sesame sauce, smoked duck and also melon. So the unique thing about ice plants is that it's really really crunchy. I'm very confused on what, what the feel about this though. With ice plant, it's very watery. So when you bite into it, right, the water in the vegetable like bursts out. So if the dressing is not strong enough, it will dilute the flavor. But because the dressing is quite strong, it didn't dilute the flavor too much, which is something that they thought of. Now. There's too many things going on. There's like the smoked duck, there's like the melon, and then there's the truffle. Okay, texture-wise, I think it's really okay. Like crunchy, and then you have the tobiko. Yeah, but flavor, like... I think I'll like it more if they didn't add the smoked duck and the melon. I felt like the smoked duck and melon was a bit excessive. Alright, moving on. Don't be so with the sauce, yeah. I guess. No, I said this tastes really like Chinese. Food. It's like you give me bakwa and then like you give me pineapple tart. Then you mash it together, then it comes this dish. But I like it, it's mm. addictive. It's a good amount of fat, really. The chow on it is like well done. Well, this is like the most important highlight dish. Highlight crab. Oh, look at this. Oh, it feels also so like that, you know. This is the piece de resistance of mm. a crab claw lollipop. If you can get it out like this so easily, yeah, yeah. Right, it's damn fresh. The, the meat comes off the shell very easily. I like it. It's not sweet, guys. It's just like salty, creamy. I'm actually very surprised at the creaminess. Nice. Like, it looks sweeter than I thought, but it's actually not as sweet. It's so satisfying to eat a very like, yeah, fresh when, crab. Okay, one, two, three, four, four. Five. Because I was judging by saying uh, one, two, three, four, five, ma, then I only cannot pass one. What? Oh. This what do you one. feel? I will still order a like mm -hmm. San Huang Chai. <laughs> so we finished our meal at Kelly Jie and we're gonna hop on to another nearby food spot. Okay, let's go. Thai Mukata! You've had Mukata before? No. What's so great about this? It is a. The mukata style. Yeah, group. so it's the typical style. Premium There's beef. Premium beef, marinated beef short plate, and sirloin beef cube. No, Which no, one no. you want? Premium beef. Yeah. Marinated pork, pork collar pork or pork, pork belly? Try the pork collar. Uh, uh, I want San Wan Yu. So they have sesame thick chili. Classic chili, right? Okay. I'm going to try the basil chicken. Oh, the xiangwei. Oh, very badly. Do people grill right? And then dunk it in the water. No. <laughs> Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Like, I'm trying an apple one. I got this one, bro. So you got like grill one, go in. Grill your bougie salmon. Why does, it, why does the colour look? You know what they say, if the salmon is too pink, right? Uh -huh. It's usually not the uh -huh. fish own colour. Then I'm gonna grill some scallop. 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 So how's your thoughts on first time trying Mugata? Steamboat with a grill. It's like a gathering, communal, communal eating yeah. kind of experience. But definitely this is more of a like dinner, take your time. Yeah. Eat slowly so with like few friends or some, some beer or whichever. It's affordable, it's easy food. It's very clean actually. But I love, I love the better chicken. Very Thai marinated meat. Right. Grilled mushroom. The mushroom is nice. Eh? Normally the, the marination is not heavier. This maybe, one is lighter. But this one is very light. Healthy la, healthy yeah. lifestyle. Hey, how was your perfectly grilled quote? Eh? You think things still you never no comment. It was very dry. <laughs> 
is like... It was like a layer of plastic. Yeah. Because right, there's a grill. I would say you require more meat right, that oh is marinated. Let's wrap this up. Rating. You go first. Three. It's an average mukata. To be completely honest, la, it's just too boring. Right? So it depends more on the company. La, Wait, <laughs> doesn't that imply that I'm boring? I strongly agree. This comes to the end of our barbecue pork position. Oh, Round up all your favourites. Quit up, job. Quit up. I will come back like, quit immediately. Up. And then copy was The copy was good. If I go there, I just gonna quit up with the copy. Copy. I think as a zi cha, really yeah, good. As a zi cha, very the crab. good. So if you are looking for like dinner mm. options, I'll go there. Mm. Lunch, so breakfast, go for quit up. All right, let's go through some comments. It seems most food blocks. The stalls usually give larger portion when ordered the smallest version. The five dollar beef noodle looks huge. Do you feel like stall owners will give us more if? They they see you are filming. Yes. This is your face, they already like, I uh, give, give better service. It's a hard thing to control. I mean, we don't really often mm -hmm. talk about the volume of the food. Even if there's a lot of liao, but it doesn't taste good. Yeah, the Point. liao, it tastes very bland. Then it's like... Yeah. How do you feel about like, expansion and franchising, but the quality just not being the same? I just feel like, if you're not ready to expand or franchise, mm -hmm. then don't. If you try to expand too fast, without understanding the dangers or limitations of yourself, then mm -hmm. it will backfire really really badly on mm. you. A lot of businesses like they try to open too fast, too much too fast, right? It's very entrepreneurial of them, but sometimes you need to work smart. Okay. I mean even myself la, I'm also like guilty of trying to mm. move too fast. Wanting also. to expand. I'm lucky enough to have people around me to support me in a way I need to. Even if I trip and make a mistake, right? I still can save myself. From so in every like expansion or mm. business idea that you have, right? You must always think of the worst case scenario and ask yourself if you are able to afford the worst case. If you can, take the leap of faith. Huh? Thanks for your very entrepreneurial insights today. This comes to the end of this Topayo episode. Do remember to like, subscribe, comment. See you guys next time. Bye! Any Topayo recommendations, please comment. Oh.